hello guys welcome back to world news channel today ayodele akele is dead ex nlc lagos chairman dies lagos comrade ayodele akele a former chairman of the nigerian labor congress nlc lagos state chapter is dead sources said he was a former secretary general of the national conscience party ncp the party founded by the late ganifawa emi died in the early hours of tuesday after a protracted illness about him at the time of his death he was national general secretary of the national conscience party ncp as a quantity surveyor he worked at the legal state property development corporation lspdc from where he was elected legal state chairman of the national union public corporations employees NUPCE in the late 1980s till 1996 when NUPCE along with CSTWUN and RSEU merged to form the Amalgamated Union of Public Corporation Civil Service Technical and Recreation Services Employees beloved by rank and file workers who had implicit trust in him he was elected as the first Lagos chairman of AUPCTRE, a position he held until he was sacked as an employee of LSDPC by the military governor Brigadier General Bubamawa for his union activities. As soon as the new civilian government of Bola Tinubu was sworn in on 29 May 1999, leaders of public sector unions in the state demanded a reinstatement of Akele. Playing the card of a NADECO fighter for democracy card, Tinubu promptly heeded the call. While when he was reinstated his first speech, he immediately amplified calls for action to reinstate workers who had been sacked by Tinubu. Yes, one of the first things the AD government did in Lagos was sack thousands of public sector workers in the name of rationalization, starting within its first month in power. Ayodele eventually got most of the workers, particularly in the health sector, reinstated, but obviously not forgiven. The following year, workers in Lagos were locked in a moment, monumental battle with the government. NLC had negotiated a review of the national minimum wage to 7,500 naira for the federal public service and richer states like those in oil producing states and Lagos and 5,500 naira for other states. Lagos state government insisted it could not pay more than 5,500 naira. Akele rallied the COIU leaders and rank and fire union members. A partial victory was won, but the empire struck back once again. Akele was sacked. And as much workers were reinstated, after the 1999 retrenchments were as well thrown into the abyss of unemployment. Popularly known as Ituriti among his fellow comrades, Akele is a veteran of uncountable street battles, ever battle ready and stand well comrade, who in articulating his perception on issues at several meetings and mass gatherings would joyfully introduce himself as ever militant and corrosive fighter. A founding member of National Conscience when it was established as a party in, F in October 1st, 1994, was always on shaking and rolling up his sleeves to work for the party till his death. He was the NCP Lagos governorship candidate in 2007, 2011, and 2015. May his soul rest in peace. Wow, a lot of reactions concerning this news. Sheon said, rest in peace, comrade Akele. He was a real activist who fought to the very end. Tinubu and Oshio Mole should hide their faces in shame for what they did to this fighter. Slawomi said, may his soul rest in peace. We are born to die. The only prayer we keep on praying is for us to drink enough beer and make money, seek little knowledge before we die. Wow. Parable said, rest in peace. 
at least he died for something and remembered for his contributions to life. Yeah. As somebody said he looks like Ojuku. Wow. <laughs> yeah, a lot of comments coming in. 900 warriors said to we that are living live every day like tomorrow may never come like tomorrow may actually be your last day on earth yeah somebody said may god rest your soul you were indeed a good man wow that's a nice one to say about the dead a lot of comments still coming in um sati said this man was one of Nigerian finest activists. He unequivocally condemns evil irrespective of tribe, location, or affiliation. He stood for what genuine Yoruba activists are known for before the era of Tinubu and his double mouth fair weather activists. Wow. Gazillion said, I wish him well. He has done his beats. And fought just causes. From this news, he didn't betray his fellow comrades, but fought for their emancipation. Adieu. I pray history will be kind to him. Umbul said, Death is not the worst thing to happen to a man or to a woman, but breathing your last without living a life of purpose. May we live a life of purpose and discover God's plan in our lives. Amen. Rest in peace, sir. Lion Crescent said, It's sad. This man was a fierce critic of Tinubu, vocal and firm. He reminds me of Ghani Fawaimi, just that Ghani did a lot more for the masses and civil rights since he was a lawyer. However, I dare say that this man and Ghani died for nothing. The democracy they fought for is worse than the military rule. Nigeria is not worth dying for wow yeah a lot of comments still came in somebody said rest in peace you've fought the good fight well Uriah Wambe said he should be given a befitting burial by NLC he was sacked just because he was fighting for legitimate minimum wage the sacking which was unfair rest in peace sir Ned Stark said, I remember him protesting the streets with Oshumole in the past. Well, rest in peace. Tabitha said, why do good people have to die? Hmm. We will only remember, we will only be remembered by what we have done. Rest in peace, Ayodele Akele. Joy Hope said, rest in peace, sir. I remember you well from my CLO days, memories of you. Integrity will stand untainted. Somebody said, Your good deeds will live on long after you're gone, sir. Rest in peace, comrade. Michael Ateta said, Rest in peace to my teenage years, father in law. At last, he didn't make it. You will be remembered for all your good deeds. Rest in peace, sir. Wow, so touching. Jidexin said Oshimale betrayed this man, collected money behind his back and sold the mouth. Rest in peace, Akele, a very notable fighter. Rest in glory. Somebody said, wow, he was a good brother. Rest in peace. Yes, a lot of comments came in, a lot of reactions from people. So guys, you, what do you have to say about this? You can do that by dropping your comments in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like. Thank you.